You said your farewell prayers for the Sheikh. Why don't you go to your homes? The Sheikh should promise that he'll stay in Kufa. You heard what the Sheikh said. If the Sheikh stays in Kufa, he'll be breaking his allegiance to the Caliph. Why do you insist on it? The Sheikh doesn't have to break his allegiance. All of us here can make him stay. If the Caliph knows that the people in Kufa want the Sheikh to stay, he'll agree to it. So what's Valid's role in Kufa? <laughs> Valid is the governor of Kufa. Okay. We won't disrespect him. Hmm. Well, if the people in Kufa are united, we might be able to keep your Sheikh here. The free people in Kufa are loyal to the Sheikh. The free people in Kufa are loyal to the Sheikh and only him. The free people in Kufa are loyal to the Sheikh. The free people in Kufa are loyal to the Sheikh and only him. The free people in Kufa are loyal to the Sheikh. The free people in Kufa are loyal to the Sheikh and only him. Stay in Kufa, Sheikh. We won't let you leave Kufa. The free people in Kufa are loyal to the Sheikh and only him. Stay in Kufa, Sheikh. We won't let you leave Sheikh, go! Don't let him go! Hey, Sheikh! People, don't let your Sheikh go! We won't let you leave Kufa! Stay in Kufa, Sheikh! We won't let you leave Kufa! Stay in Kufa, Sheikh! We won't let you leave Kufa! Stay in Kufa, Sheikh! We won't let you leave Kufa! Stay in Kufa, Sheikh! We won't let you leave Kufa! Stay in Kufa, Sheikh! We won't let you leave Kufa! 
stay in Kufar, Sheikh. We won't let you leave Kufar. Stay in Kufar, Sheikh. We won't let you leave Kufar. Stay in Kufar, Sheikh. We won't let you leave Kufar. Stay in Kufar, Sheikh. We won't let you leave Kufar. Stay in Kufar, Sheikh. We won't let you leave Kufar. Stay in Kufar, Sheikh. We won't let you leave Kufar. Stay in Kufar, Sheikh. We won't let you leave Kufar. Stay in Kufar, Sheikh. We won't. Hey, Sheikh, go! They'll kill you in Kufa and they'll bury you like. Oh, Sheikh, leave Kufa. We're with you. We're with you. The free people of Kufa are loyal to the Sheikh. The free people of Kufa are loyal to the Sheikh and only him. The Imam of Prayers. We're all supporters of Kufa. Kick those who have caused the division out of Kufa. Only Walid's mercenaries can say something so stupid like that. The free people of Kufa are loyal to the Sheikh. The free people of Kufa are loyal to the Sheikh. Get out of Kufa. Kick those who have caused the division out of Kufa. Stay here, Sheikh. We'll support you. The Sheikh should stay in Kufa. Either stay in Kufa or you'll have to walk over our dead bodies. Block his way. The free people of Kufa are loyal to the Sheikh. The free people of Kufa are loyal to the Sheikh and only him. The free people of Kufa are loyal to the Sheikh. We won't let you leave Kufa. Stay in Kufa, Sheikh. We won't let you leave Kufa. You have to be with God. Whoever says something in support of me or against me has been unknowingly deceived by the devil of Kufa. Stay away from disunity. Be afraid of sedition. The Caliph has summoned me. I'll obey his order. Make way. Oh, Sheikh, you've accepted to be sent into exile. It means that you've admitted that you've done Kufa something wrong. Kufa will be damaged without you. Right now, Kufa is more vulnerable because of me. Oh, people of Kufa, be aware that human beings have many thousands of tribes within themselves. There is a wild horse in each of those tribes, which is trained by the devil. You shouldn't let go of its reign. Have control over the wild tribes of your souls. You come from a tribe that has been a close neighbor of the Prophet's homeland. Don't forget that. You are breathing under the sky that is full because Muhammad looks at it. You're walking on the ground whose name is chanted by the angels of God in heaven. You speak in a language that the Almighty said his last words to human beings in. Don't do something so the next generations won't consider Arabs as people who don't deserve such honors. May God keep us from rumors and worldly desires. May God keep us away from things that divide us because it separates the cluster of faith from the stem. Instead of hostility, love one another. Instead of making threats, give advice to each other. Our ancestors killed and were killed, so we wouldn't kill each other or get killed. Forgive me. I'm ready to make up for any injustice I've done to anyone right here. Let me make it clear to anyone who respects me. We shouldn't become distant from Malek Ashtar Nakhayi. Am I clear? This man is similar to a word of Ali's word. As long as you listen to what he says, you will be safe from valid and his men.
Malik. If I live long enough, I'll keep looking at the road leading to Kufa. And wait until your messenger gives me the news that Azd and Assad tribes have surrendered. We will be missing you. <laughs> Don't say it, Malik. It's a strange kind of feeling. I've also been missing Ali very much. May God protect you. Let's go. Have you prepared your marriage stuff, girl? My marriage stuff is my faith. Your faith? Or your heart. Oh, please don't talk like the Sheikh. You should be in the wedding chamber, not in the altar. Why are you wearing black clothing? We're grieving. Oh, God, I'm sad to hear that. Tell me what has happened, girl. The convoy you just saw took away the corpse of the father of Kufa. The girls in Kufa will be grieving for their father for 40 days. Oh, so we have to wait for 40 more days. Do you want to kill Walid with grief? If I say yes, he'll die out of joy. May God protect you. Should we surrender? What are you talking about, Malik? We're not the ones who want to fight. It's valid. Every day he finds a new excuse to give us a hard time. We've never said that we want to get revenge for Dinar's blood. The Az tribe didn't have any hostilities with the Kend or any other tribes. But the Kendi Ashas and the others started a campaign against us. But you give excuses to Alid. Why did the Yassad tribe join you? With what you did, you beat the drums of war, didn't you? Malik, we have an old friendship with the Azd tribe. The Azad tribe gave its backing to the Azd to make Valid realize that the Azd tribe isn't alone anymore. We don't want to live like wanderers in the desert and the mountains, Malik. We've left our farmlands in Kufa. Our families and cattle have very little food. We really want to put an end to all of the conflict. But is there any guarantee that Valid will put an end to his hostilities, Malek? Do you need any guarantee more credible than yourselves? If Valid continues his evil acts, you can rise up against him. Once again, then you can count on my tribe what as well. What difference does it make, Malik? Do you have any doubts about Valid's wickedness? That's why we've risen up. Why should we give up then and be forced to rise up again, Malik? By surrendering, you'll show your goodwill to the people in Kufa. Walid hasn't bought anyone in Kufa with gold. Malik, you want to help the people in Kufa. But don't do something so Walid would laugh at their swords. You're a wise man, Abu Muvara. Is it all right if Walid makes a pile of dead bodies? He hasn't hired non-Muslim mercenaries to fight against you. When people in Kufa fight with each other, it means that it is a war against brothers. I admire your courage for rising up against him. But by surrendering, you'll prove that you're pious people. As the father of Kufa did. If the Sheikh of Kufa has declared war, 
I swear to God, my tribe wouldn't be scared of anything. You don't want to take the grooms away from the newlywed bride in Kufa, do you? Hmm. Will you give us some time, Malik? We have to think about it. Think about it. Think about it. It's something between you and your god. I have given high hopes for peace. Valid has planned to meet with the tribal chiefs in Kufa. I'm sure that he's planning to fight with you with a fake decree. Oh, brothers, you shouldn't let him carry out his plot. May God protect you. Malik! Will you also meet Walid? Oh, faithful man. I have no other option. Even one negative vote Malik. is worth it. You're alone among the greedy people of Kufa. So alone. So you should help me overcome this loneliness. Chandap stayed with Ali. If he were in Kufa, I wouldn't be alone. Uh -oh. The Assad tribe is an ally of the Azd, isn't it? I know that our war with them is a war between two Muslim groups. Malik, you keep talking about peace. So tell me, hmm? what should I do? What will happen if every day a new tribe revolts and leaves the houses and farmlands and ambushes people in the passages and isn't afraid of anyone? What will we do if this happens? A feudalist government? A feudalist government? A feudalist government. The same ruling system during the days of ignorance before Islam. The tribes with more wealth and warriors will have the final say, Malik. I have a question. For how long can the Assad and Azd tribes continue with their cat and mouse game? Huh? For how long? Well... What will they do when they see that they are cornered and they've run out of food and supplies? They'll attack Kufar. The lives of the people in Kufar and their wealth are in danger. But don't come to me after you see the consequences. If you don't think that war is a good decision, you'll have to do something after the Assad and Azd tribes attack you. It's up to you. I don't insist on fighting. But I forbid you from even giving the smallest amount of food supplies to the Azdis. Malik, what do the Azdis want? Nothing! So why do they not stop fighting? Why don't they surrender to the governor? They're afraid to surrender! What are they afraid of? They don't trust the governor! Don't they trust me? Isn't it a clear insult? Forget about my promises. Haven't they even heard about the Caliph's You amnesty? promised something in public, but you didn't fulfill it. You secretly summoned Jondab at night. That's why the Azdis are suspicious. They think that you wanted to kill Jondab. They are talking nonsense, Malik. They're talking nonsense. What makes them so sure about it? The Azdis want to disgrace me with their lies. Do you have any proof that the Azdis are lying? Oh, Malik... You don't need any proof of something you haven't done. Have you come here to talk to us or to put us on trial? We're in a bad situation. Why don't you admit that you sympathize with the Assad and Az tribes? I've not become governor to look for a hideout whenever people start a mutiny. Should Muslims put pressure on the government just because their tribes support them? If I weren't a God-fearing person, I would prove that Goresh is still the only invincible tribe in Iraq. Don't do that, man. Don't do that! 
The bloodbath during the days of ignorance before Islam was meant to make Arabs act sensibly. Oh, Governor! Allah Akbar. Şahid Allah. Allah Akbar. Şahid Can. Şahid Allah. Muhammed Abdul Allah Resul. Allahumma sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muhammed. Wa ala Muhammed. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaykum ya Allah. Nabiyyu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alayna wa ala ibadillah. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Did I say three prayers or four? Did you see that? No, I didn't. I was thinking about my own darts. Oh, God, have mercy on your weak servants. <laughs> your darts are evil, evil. What are you up to, girl? I'm not sure if I should fear something or not. What should you fear? What shouldn't you fear? Should I say it? Aren't you worried? You've already made me worried, even without saying it. Get up and give me some food to eat. I'm not sure if I should fear God or not. Oh, my God, she <laughs> acts like an illegitimate <laughs> child. And I'm paying you back for having done some evil deeds. Is this devil a punishment for my cardinal sins? Shame on you. I wish you had never grown up. <laughs> I wish you had never grown up. <laughs> I was just thinking out loud, like my childhood days. <laughs> I wish... I wish I were a child, Abba Gautam. Tell me about your own darts. Everyone in Kufa bows before Walid to show their servitude, but you don't because you're so arrogant that you don't accept servitude to anyone but God. Do you know why you said three prayers instead of four? You haven't dedicated your soul to God, Abba Gautam. You were wondering whether it's better for you to die and your daughter be taken as a prisoner or live and have your daughter become the governor's wife. 
got on. Tell me, will you stop saying blasphemy if I agree to your marriage with Walid? I will, Abu oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Allah Akbar. Wadan, where are you, you unbeliever? Do you know that your master is your rival? If you love Gautam, you have to kill Walid. They're just like dragons with seven heads. And if you hit one of their heads, two others will open their mouths. Oh. I wish I'd gone to Egypt and started a business there. Why are you complaining? Kufa is in your hands. The only thing in my hands is this cup and I can't hold it still. I should have uprooted the sheik. Malik is also following him. You saw that for yourself. In fact, the governor of Kufa is Malik Ashtan Akai, not Walid Ibn Ogba. The Assad and Az tribe surrendered only after he ordered them to do so. Malik isn't more influential than the sheik. Uh, the sheik would only talk. But Mali can talk and also fight with his sword. He's a dangerous man, poet. He's a dangerous man. As long as he was with the Sheikh, he seemed to be dumb. Oh, that's the way Whenever the, the Sheikh would talk, behave. he would only look uh, at him. When they are silent, when they're silent, you don't even see them. But when they move, oh, when they move, they make a storm. Uh. Oh. You haven't drunk wine, have you? No, but I can see two nannies. What should we do with your stinking mouth? Oh, nanny. Abu Zubaid wants to stay with me. You can go there with Wardan. Wardan? Uh-huh. You expect us to go with a monster like him? We're going to see the bride, not to make the people in the bride's house frightened. We'll go there tomorrow night. Oh, no. Go there tonight. Hmm. It seems my little child is really in love. So I think we'd better bring the bride here tonight. That would be great if you do that. You kept me waiting for forty days in hope of tonight. <laughs> Go do something before Malik Alashtar scares away my bride. Oh, tonight I'll make my pains go away with wine. What are you taking there as a gift? <laughs> this. A necklace. Oh, no, Nanny. No, 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 no. If that stupid sanctimonious man sees this necklace, he will declare that we are pagans. Go find a sacred gift. What's the trick behind the sacred gift? Tell her, Abu Zubaid. Uh, uh. My dear lady. I have to tell you that a sacred gift makes everyone blind. It makes everyone blind, it deceives people, and it steals their hearts. If they hang it inside their houses, it'll be a source of blessings, as large as the sea. If they wear it, it'll work as iron armor, and no arrow could pierce it. 
If they put it in a shroud, the dead body won't feel the pressure from the grave and won't be bothered by the interrogation of the angels. It will also make the bridge of Judgment Day wider. It's the key to the doors of heaven. <coughs> ah, I didn't tell you to tell her the story of a mythical utopia. Take it. Tell them it's a strand of Muhammad's hair. Hmm, the most cherished gift Walid has. Pour some rose water on it, so it wouldn't smell of wine. If you find a piece of green cloth the size of a palm and wrap the hair in it, tell them it's a piece of Muhammad's turban. And the poet just told you the rest of it. Go, good luck. You don't need a bride. You want a devil like Gotham, who would smash you into pieces. A couple like you wouldn't give birth to a human being. If I live long enough, I'll see a baby monster. Stand here. You stand over there. Good evening. I hope nothing has happened. We are here for something auspicious. I have a message of peace and marriage. Don't you want to extend your family? Whatever the holy nature of the Almighty decides for us, you're welcome. Go inside, please. Do you want to come inside, man? No, you're a faithful man. I don't want to be indebted to the people in this house. I swear to God I didn't know anything about it. Listen, Wadan. If you really love Gautam, you have to push aside your rival. Hmm. I'm a man of my word.
Gotham. Come here, darling. Hmm. you'll live a happy life. You are a unique piece of jewelry. I'm really ashamed that I didn't have a gift more precious than this. Has Walid bought this gift with his own wealth or with the treasury of Kufa? <laughs> I'm the one who's giving this gift to Gotham. It doesn't belong to Walid or the treasury of Kufa. Hmm. We won't trade our faith for gold or jewels, ma'am. <laughs> this is a tradition, Abba Gotham. Men add to their value by their swords, and women by their jewellery. Tell Walid that Kutam is valuable because of her faith. He can come forward if he has a gift worthy of that, huh? Faithful people don't act hastily, Abba Gotham. Be a little patient. We are also Muslims, and we know where the Qibla is. We also think a lot about Judgment Day, Hell, and Heaven. So he who has done an atom's weight of good shall see it, and he who has done an atom's weight of evil shall see it. Mm. A pious man like you should have a strong sense of smell. Smell it. Can't you smell the messenger of God? This is a sacred gift from Walid. A strand of hair from the messenger of God. Uh. A piece of cloth from his turban. <laughs> Have you done absolution, Gotham? No. No, no, Nanny. It is recommended that Muslims keep their hands off this gift if they haven't done absolution. Uh -huh. Abba Gotham, adorn your shroud with it. It'll protect you in your grave. You won't slip while crossing the bridge on Judgment Day. This gift is truly the key to the doors of heaven. You have to value it. You deceived Abba Gotham with a strand of hair, Walid. With what gift are you going to deceive Gotham? <laughs> 